Good morning guys. Welcome back to another vlog from The Egg. Yep, that's right. Currently in my dressing gown right now. This dressing gown really makes me feel like Tony Soprano, but it is bright and early, so I feel like I'm excused. I have come to my desk super early this morning. It is currently 25 minutes past six, which some would say makes me slightly crazy, but others would just say makes me very productive. Adam's still in bed downstairs, although I have been joined by a little furry friend who's looking super cute. Morning flow. Curled up on a velvet leopard print cushion. You're truly living the dream, babe. I haven't been sleeping all that well because I've been getting really stressed and I feel like everything's getting on top of me and I just feel like a big discombobulated bundle of stress. So I've designated today as one of those days where I'm just gonna get out of bed. I'm gonna put my dressing gown on before I even do anything else. I'm gonna grab a coffee. This is actually coffee number two already. That's how today's gonna go. Sit down at my desk and write the world's biggest to-do list. And today I'm gonna work through that to-do list and I'm gonna reach the end of the day and I'm gonna feel generally better about life. First thing I do to make my brain feel slightly less fuzzy is just write everything down in one big list. And as soon as I can see it all on paper, it doesn't matter how many things are on there, if it looks like it's gonna take me 30 years to complete, once it's all on paper, I do start to feel a little bit better and like I can actually get on top of things one step at a time. I did drop some coffee on it, which we're gonna ignore. That just sums up the caffeine addiction quite nicely, really. Um, but this is my big list of stuff that I've got to do today. I've even put the little things on just because I know even getting the little things done is gonna help me. Um, I love this little notepad though. You can write your big to-do list and then it's got like the times of day on it as well. So if you're really super organized, you want to be in the right hand column. So I'm going to get my coffee down my neck. I'm just going to take 10 minutes to have a flip through the news and just try and breathe and be a little more zen. I have a little bit of time to myself and then I'm going to get cracking and I mean business today. We're going to do it. We're going to do this. High five. Clink. Let there be light. Good morning, California. I wish. <laughs> Good morning, South London. Let's pop you on the windowsill here so that I can talk to you. Ta -da! The beauty of a sort your life out kind of video is that it doesn't even matter that you can see how messy it is in the background because I'm about to sort that out right now. Adam just left for work, said goodbye to him. I've eaten some porridge with jam on, which was quite delicious actually. And the first thing on my master list of Friday um, is to make the bed because then I actually feel like a vaguely put together human being. If your bed looks nice, you can't possibly be stressed and anxious. You must have it figured out if you remember to make your bed in the morning. I'm still standing better than I ever did. Looking like a true survivor. We actually really need some new pillows too. These have gone so like floopy and floppy. It's not what you need in your life, is it? Slightly more presentable than it did earlier. Uh, it's pretty much the best I can do when I don't have an ironing board to iron the duvet. We've got two mattresses stacked on top of the other because we're renting. I absolutely love this cushion too. It's one of the prettiest things I've ever seen. It was a birthday present from my friend Gemma. So I'm hoping that that kind of makes up for the fact that everything else is covered in cat hair. First thing off the list. Yeah, uh-huh. All right. I'm sorry to wake you, but I have some things to do now. I suppose we better clean this office, hadn't we? Oh, <laughs> put your tongue away. <laughs> She might be looking cute, but the rest cannot be said. <laughs> oh my god. If this doesn't just sum it all up right now, I don't know how to possibly be more accurate about how stressed I've been recently. I've got piles of stuff here. I've got a cat washing herself here. This is... I don't even know what this is. I feel like you're going to be judging me in this video, but please don't. I'm a busy woman. Let's have a little look through that and then we will reconvene because <laughs> the next thing on my list I actually need to sit at the desk and I want a clear headspace to try and do it all properly and not half arsed so tidy space tidy mind as they say it was like this all along I actually instantly feel better even after just doing that. It's amazing how like having all this craziness around you definitely does make you go slightly crazy. I mean, I did have visions of sorting out this entire office, but I think that might have to be a weekend job because <laughs> I don't think I've got enough hours in the day. There is actually one big like mammoth block in the road that I'm gonna try and conquer right now. I don't know about you, 
but the thing that makes my brain go a little bit haywire and if I haven't got it in gear then I kind of lose track of everything in life um, and that's like financial stuff especially being self-employed if I don't feel like I'm on top of all my money things I've got no chance <laughs> I like to try and take a little bit of time once a week to just sit down have a look at incomings outgoings figure out budget so I like to try and dedicate a little bit of time every week to making sure that it's all ship shape shiny and ready to go <laughs> and I've kind of let that side of things go a little bit and when I know that's happening and I've got things like stacks of statements and piles of receipts just lying around um, I don't feel good about it but I have been challenged by compare the market to smash my financial to-do list in 60 minutes I mean it sounds a little bit daunting but they promise me it's not gonna be as long as I'm using all the tools and the tips on their new simples lab then I'm hoping that things should actually be pretty simples <laughs> simples the simples lab is their new innovation hub which you can find online and it's pretty much been designed to help you with all the very daunting adulting tasks things that you get to your mid-20s and figure out that you're supposed to be organized with like switching your best energy provider and checking that you're on the most cost effective one and looking at how to get a mortgage all that kind of stuff the simples lab is there to make it Simples. It's actually really good timing for us because I told you guys, super exciting, uh, me and Adam are starting to get the ball rolling a little bit for buying a house. Yeah, it's something that we are actually starting to look at right now, which is crazy. Um, the first part of it all has been getting my money in order. Obviously when you're self-employed, buying a house can be a little bit tricky. So the next step for us is looking at mortgages. Saying that out loud just literally sounds crazy. I cannot believe I've reached the point in life where I'm looking at mortgages, but here we are. I'm old now. So seeing as this is a challenge and uh, I don't wanna be accused of any foul play, I'm gonna set a timer for 60 minutes and I'm gonna see if I can sort out all my money stress in the next 60 minutes. To be quite honest, I've been completely clueless from the start about the whole mortgage process. I had no idea. It's not like you get taught it at school, as far as I know. I could have done with a lesson on mortgages rather than just faffing around with Bunsen burners. So visiting the Simples Lab, which I'm gonna show you right now, has been unbelievably handy for us, to be honest. It's kind of like a 101 guide. For example, we both sat and had a really good read through together so that we could learn about it together um, through a really good article that's on there all about stepping onto the property lab so you log onto the website here, there's a little bit about all the services that they offer and this is where you'll find the really handy articles, there's all sorts on there about switching your energy, mortgaging your property, um, but this is the one that was really handy for us. But once you're not getting distracted by baby meerkats, I want one, although kind of got one over there. You can just click straight through to the mortgage eligibility checker and that will just tell you how kind of likely you are to be accepted for a mortgage, doesn't affect your credit score at all. We actually filled this in together the other day and it was just completely foolproof, so useful. The calculator could not be easier to use, even if you find the whole thing really confusing. It's just been really great to have all the info that we needed in one place, to be honest, and it's really put our mind at ease about where to start with the process and mistakes that can be made. And if you've been through the process of buying a house or you know anything about the process, you'll know that your credit score is kind of a big deal as well, which is something that I wasn't particularly clued up on, which definitely won't be relevant to everybody, and I am not encouraging you to get a credit card by any means. Um, but it can be really handy when it comes to buying a house. But using the checker on the simple lab little Sergey over here in a very straightforward way it just helps you figure out how likely you are to be accepted for a credit card and which card on the market might be the most suitable for you to go for using the simples lab and the innovations on there has really just kind of cut through the confusion for us it's actually given us a little bit of a boost of confidence and make us feel like we know what we're doing and luckily I'm very pleased today fingers crossed it's looking quite likely that we will qualify for some kind of mortgage so that is very good news house buying related she is done and dusted. Um, I'm now onto the paperwork side of things, but I'm gonna show you the little systems that I've got in place because I thought they might be handy, you know, if you're failing at this whole organization thing as much as I am today. Maybe there'll be some ideas here that might be useful for you. So I'm just gonna pull out all the like loose paperwork and stuff. Like what are these even for? I don't know. God bless my accountant. Bless his little heart. I'm telling you when it comes to receipts, the best thing in your life that you could possibly welcome in is one of these. 
one of these bad boys. This is a box file, ladies and gents. It's like a big expanding thing that opens out into loads of different pockets. I like to do it month by month where I can just like shove all my receipts and expenses and stuff. Um, so, so far I'm on top of April and May for the year. And uh, this is just where I literally shove everything. And then within these, just for extra organization satisfaction, I also have these little pouches. And uh, I got the old label maker out there. And that's just where I keep all the little loose receipts and stuff that I will inevitably lose. In terms of digital stuff, I like to I like to try and be on top of my spreadsheet game. So this is my like yearly one um, I put my income invoices in this top section here And then I also keep a track of my expenses in the bottom one there And it's actually a super clever little spreadsheet that I got through like a business program um, And then this one here, which I'm not gonna show you because it's got all my money details on But this one here then tracks all the months and like tots them up for you So you can have your kind of like yearly earnings at a bit of a glance. It's a very clever little little spreadsheet and basically keeps my life in order for me. It's a really fancy little creation and I swear by it. Spreadsheet numero two, if these are things that excite you. Uh, this is then my invoice spreadsheet, which I use just to keep a track on what I've been paid, what I haven't been paid. I've blanked this one out because that's where all the money goes and uh, nosy nosy. I pop in the brand I've been working with, the amount I'm getting paid, the date the content was delivered, and then this column here is the date I got paid for it as well. And then once it's all complete, I check it off with a little blue line, and then I know that we're okay and we're all up to date. This one's pretty basic to be honest, there's zero clever stuff going on here, but um, it's very handy to keep on top of. This is one of those things that will make zero sense to anybody else on the planet, but it makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> this is my Google Calendar. This has my entire life on it and I really recommend Google Calendars. If you're looking for like a digital way to organize yourself, I have my bullet journal for organizing myself on paper, but on my computer screen, this is what I live by. You can add like multiple different calendars to this whole sheet. Um, so I have a personal one, I have a shared one with Adam for like date nights and stuff, um, I have a video schedule calendar and then I have a work calendar. I have different colours which mean either events, to create, to send for approval and to publish. I told you it was nuts but it's one of those things that makes perfect sense in my head. So they're my kind of like four key organisation points. If this was a rounders field they'd be the four bases. Seeing as I've put 60 minutes aside to do this, I've also got a couple of other bits I wanna do. I wanna go through and cancel a couple of subscriptions, which are costing me money for a whole load of nothing. I've got some kind of TV subscription that I don't want anymore. And another thing that I just wanna go through and check that I've got all the right dates and stuff, is I like to keep a record of all the dates that certain bills are coming out, so we can make sure that there's enough money in there, basically, and we don't end up bankrupt, would be ideal. I'm gonna go through and make sure that my dates match up, and I'm gonna set an alarm on my my phone for each of those so that I just vaguely remember when I check my bank balance and see that there's a horrible amount of money disappeared. I'm gonna whiz through, update that, get my receipts put away and I'll catch up with you in a sec. Oh, I did it too quick. Then learn it. Dum. Wow, that's literally the most self-discipline I've had in quite some time. <laughs> Sitting here for an hour solid doing money-related matters. I'm so grown up. So that is my 60 minute Simples Lab challenge complete. 60 minutes just to get on top of your money stuff, get all your home finances under control. It is so worth putting that aside. So I'm challenging you to do your own. I'm gonna leave everything you need to know about Compare the Market Simples Lab down in the description box down below. So you can head down there, click the link and check it all out for yourself and get a little bit organized and feel like you're smashing the whole adulting thing. When my bedside table is covered in 10 million things, it means there's 10 million things going on inside my brain, so. Got my little cleaning basket at the ready. It's actually not terrible, but 10 million hair accessories, two lip balms, bajillion hand creams. Uh, I'm just gonna slightly organize this. The next super interesting task of the day is to sort out the laundry. I bet you're glad you clicked on this one, aren't you? Nothing like a little bit of relatable content to see you through the day. Um, I'm gonna be honest, this pile of white washing has been on the floor of our bedroom <laughs> uh, for a good four days now. And every time I've walked past it, I've thought, I really need to put that in the washing machine. Well, ladies and gents, today's the day. If you live with a partner, what do you reckon is their most annoying habit? Because I reckon Adam's is that he puts his socks in the wash without unrolling them. And I've said it to him maybe four or five times now. 
It doesn't, he doesn't take any notice. Normally quite a perceptive person, he can tell when something's really annoying me. Uh, but when it comes to rolled up socks, there's really no stopping him. I would love to know at what point in life you learn what wash to put something like this on. Like, there's lights and darks and very bold colours going on here. Where does this go? I feel like if I haven't learnt that by this point of life, maybe I just never will. Um, I'm gonna go for darks. It's only a football kit, so it doesn't really matter anyway. What's this? Oh, oh, it's a rolled up sock. Good. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's another rolled up sock. Oh, love you, Adam. Wow, we actually had more washing than I thought we did. Probably should have done this a few days ago, to be honest. Let's get this lot in the machine. I'm hoping we've got some washing stuff. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to do a trip to the shop. Ah. That load is in, so I will actually have some clean pants tomorrow. Always good news. But I've just realised that on the Maiden, we've already got a whole load of clean stuff. So I'm going to have to fold that up and put that away before the next load comes out. Honestly, washing is like a never-ending cycle. It's literally never-ending. I remember my mum saying this multiple times, but it's only since I've been standing on my own two feet that I've realised just how correct she was about these things. Look, this is when you know it's a day that I mean serious business to get some stuff done. It's a loungewear day. Ooh, sexy, sexy. I might try on all sorts of nice clothes in my fashion videos, but this is the reality of being a YouTuber <laughs> working from home. You dress like a mum doing the school run in 1992. Oh no. <laughs> you know when you get to the point on your list and you're like, well, this is the one that I really didn't want to do. I mean, there's several things on here that I really didn't want to do. Okay, pleasantly surprised. The kitchen isn't actually too terrible. I've got a little bit of washing up to put away. I think the dishwasher might need unloading. Oh yeah, that's annoying. And the surfaces to do, so that's okay. I've got that under control. We can do this. I hope you're feeling motivated. I hope you're writing your to-do list and you're thinking, if Lucy can do this and get on top of life, then so can I. <laughs> Second Debs, gonna have to pause your love. And just like magic, the kitchen is clean. I even put away all the crap on the side. That's when you know you're doing a proper job. Bonjour, it's actually quite a lot later now. Um, I've been a bit of a rubbish vlogger this afternoon, but I've literally been sat at my desk for like three hours doing a writing shift. And that's not the most exciting thing in the world to film, especially because I have to like be concentrating and stringing sentences together and all that kind of stuff. So um, I haven't picked up the camera in a couple of hours, but I've just been to Tesco's and done a little food shop, so tick that off the list as well. Definitely not the most exciting food shop in the world, but I thought I'd show you what we got. I uh, picked up some washing tablets. That's exciting for next time we do the laundry. Also got some almond milk because that's what I like to have on my porridge in the mornings. Got some parma ham for my salads. I bought some strawberries. Didn't really intend to buy any strawberries, but I thought they looked so massive and delicious. I got some edamame beans, also a random purchase, but thought they'd be quite nice to snack on this afternoon. What else? Oh, <laughs> I was doing quite well there. That was quite healthy. Um, but then there was some scones in the yellow label shelf, so just couldn't resist really. Jam and cream or cream then jam though? That's the question. So it's just coming up to, well, it's nearly five to four now. Um, but I think I'm actually going to wrap this up here. There is a good excuse though, because the next thing on my list for today is going to therapy. Hmm, it took a turn here. But I want to tell you that, and I want to be honest with you, because obviously the things on your to-do list that are actually f for the purpose of looking after yourself and taking care of yourself are just as important as all the serious things like the money and the cleaning and everything else that grown-up life likes to throw straight directly in your face. Yeah, it's something that I decided I needed to do at the end of last year. I've been putting it off for literally years. Um, so I guess with the theme of today, it's important to talk about not putting it off anymore. And I chat to my therapist about literally everything. I went in with my body image problems, just one branch of a very large tree, um, past relationships, my job and social media and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's amazing how it all is interwoven and all links into one. It's really helping me. I'm going through a very tough part of it at the moment where all the really, really horrible stuff has to be talked about. 
um, but I guess that's the big mountain until you can get down to the other side and kind of feel a bit better for it. And after an hour of chatting about all that kind of stuff and getting very deep and meaningful, normally crying quite a lot, um, I normally feel like a popped deflated balloon to be quite honest and I just have to have a bath and be wrapped up in a fluffy blanket. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it's been a little bit kind of like trapped in the flat, but just a realistic working day and you guys say you always want to see them, so <laughs> this is what you asked for, my friend. If you enjoyed this little vlog and you want to see more, then please do let me know. I'll be hanging around in the comments box down below so we can have a little chat if you fancy saying hi. I'll be leaving all the info about Compare the Market Simples Lab in the description box down below as well, so if that's something that you're interested in, if it's relevant to you right now, I thought it might be relevant to quite a lot of you hopefully. I feel like we're all around the same age and kind of maybe getting to that point in life where you have to start thinking about these things. If you did enjoy this one then please do give it a little thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new. I'll see you guys very soon I'm sure. I'm trying to think what's coming next but I can't remember. <laughs> to be honest all I'm thinking about is those scones that are in the kitchen. I wonder if I've got time for one before I go. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you very soon. Get my hair out of my face with another video. <laughs> Goodbye.